there's a mouse in the house. Yes, I need help. Listen, I'm going to try to make this quick, but don't you dare hit stop. You stay with me. You hear me, people? Okay. It's been a long time since I get, I've given you a funny video. This mouse has been in my house for two weeks. It mainly comes out when I'm up late at night because, you know, it's 12.02 a.m. I'm up to 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, actually, I'm sleeping on the couch because that's what I like to do. I like to fall asleep on the couch and then go upstairs. Anyhow, I put out glue stick traps, right? I put a piece of chip on it. This mouse is smart. He's not even going for the chip. Let me tell you what he is doing. Here's my office, right? I'm talking low because I think he, he was in there. See the boxes on the floor? You know what he's doing? He's biting something back there. The, the boxes most likely. How do I know this? The old school I worked at, the exterminator said they like to um, bite on the boxes because we used to find in the food pantry, like the closet with all the stuff, boxes just eaten up they like to do that to create a nest a bed whatever so every night sucker is going behind here and i'm hearing this noise and for such a little thing it makes a lot of noise okay so here's the deal i don't like those mouse traps that snap because my main reason is that what if someone touches it by mistake we can't have any injuries because of a mouse right only one to be injured is the mouse but i'm desperate now okay it's two weeks right so I got really desperate last week or the week before and I said I'm going to trap get these because my mother bought some of these anyway see there goes a sticker sucker ain't on it ain't on it ain't on it chip is still there chilling like that right so I watched the YouTube video on how to do it and it's to me it's really not that easy and you really got to be careful I put one all the way underneath the TV console because nobody puts their hands under there. But just to be sure, I put I used a stick and pushed it all the way to the wall. Nobody's hands going in there. That sucker didn't even go for it. And it's always going from underneath this big couch around. So you tell me, what's up? What's up? Is this Einstein's, you know, like, did this, this come from Einstein's house or something? Like, he's that smart? I don't, I don't know, right? So then I read, you got to put traps together, close together. So I pulled that one from underneath there since it's doing nothing. was sitting there for a good week. So I put it in my office on the side and I put an actual um, mouse poison on it, right? Because this one lady said sometimes, you, sometimes when they get smart, you got to give them poison so they get delirious and stuff like that. And then they, the little sucker goes on the trap because he's delirious, right? I put it there, but I didn't put, you know, I put it on a trap. That sucker ain't even take it. One day I'm in my office, and all of a sudden the thing came from behind, and it jumped, it jumped right over the trap. Okay. All right, we got a problem. Then, so I got another trap, so I now I have two of them near each other. I put peanut butter on that one. Nothing. I watched this other video. I guess these YouTube videos, folks, they're having luck. I wasn't. He said he really is not into the peanut butter. Definitely not the cheese. It doesn't work. Um, but he says, if you're going to use the peanut butter, don't put it on the top part of where the bait goes. Put it underneath. And you want to put a good amount, he's saying, because you want them to stay there for a while until they set that trap off. Because it seems like the way that they're doing it, sometimes they're not going on top of the spring to set it off. Okay. So listen. Last night, I really had it because I said to myself, it really hit me. This ain't funny because this is germs. They have germs. Okay? So, this is war. So, I'm sitting on the couch and I heard it. And I went and got another one. And this time I put the peanut butter a whole bunch on top and underneath. And I wrote on there, no fingers. And so... Now, that's, I normally would not put anything out like that because people, kids, but I'm staying up. I'm going st to go sit on my favorite couch where I'm going to fall asleep and then wake up. And when it gets caught, I was hoping that Jonathan would still be up because he does like to stay up late with his Forex, all that trading. Because sure enough, I'm going to say, Jonathan, come get the dead mouse. 
because that's one thing I'm not doing. If it's late, and I know I can't, because it's 12 midnight, he should be sleeping. He has school, homeschool. But what am I going to do? I'm just going to have to leave it there because I'm not picking it up. I know John says that I have dominion and everything because the Bible says that. Uh, but I don't see nowhere in the Bible that God said I have to take a mouse that's dead and put it in a plastic bag. I can't do that. Once it's caught, my stomach is churning just looking at its ugly face. I don't know what I'm going to do. My mother will get it. She gets up at 3 o'clock in the morning. She's strong. <laughs>